2,190 hours. That's the amount of time that I would spend on my phone if my current usage were extrapolated over the course of an entire year. And that's just on the low end. I've been tracking my smartphone usage over the past month. I've tended to average around six to eight hours per day usage, and that's very alarming. So six hours on the low end. So you're just going by that estimate. That's 2,190 hours per year. That's the, qu that's the quarter of an entire year, which that's an alarming amount of time. If you really think about it, just spend attention spent on this thing. Today, I am announcing the next step, which will involve getting rid of this and moving on to this. I've experimented in the past, switching away from my smartphone and using a dumb phone. I went back and forth a few times for a few weeks. And in fact, for the first eight months of this year, I did not use a smartphone. I was on a different phone, which was uh, kind of a dumb phone, but kind of not. But this little thing here, this little Nokia 3310, it only runs on 3G, it can call, it can text, it can take crappy two megapixel photos, you can play Snake, and that's about it. I have decided that as of tomorrow, I'm going to be switching to this as my main phone. The reason I switched back to a smartphone after being smartphone free for the first eight months of this year is because there are certain apps that I need to have access to, you know, for work and other things. That's a common excuse that I hear from people saying that they can't ditch their smartphones. Yes, that may be true in our modern age, but how many things do we really need a smartphone for? Do I need 2,190 hours of time per year on my smartphone for work purposes? No, I don't think so. What would a healthy amount of time be? The answer to that will depend on you. Let's say, you know, half an hour to an hour per day, maybe maximum two hours on the high end, but no more than that. The alarming thing is that my current smartphone usage is higher than it's ever been in the past. Um, you know, since I sort of started dabbling into switching away from my smartphone, I found that when I would go back to my smartphone, you know, I was able to sort of tweak my usage a bit so to like sort of lower it down to sort of, you know, three, four hours a day, a bit more reasonable. And yeah, for a while I was only averaging, you know, one, two hours per day, you know, I would, sort of, I would go out and I wouldn't even bring my phone with me on many occasions. But in this past month, since I've gotten back on smartphone my i've just really lost the plot when it comes to internet and technology addiction and you know there's many things you can do you know many settings you can change you know, switching it to grayscale and you know installing blockers and all of that i'm just thinking you know why not just take the easiest step which will have the greatest impact overall which is living without a smartphone now I'm still gonna be using this thing here, but I'm not gonna have a SIM card in it. I'm gonna keep it at home, locked away in a drawer, switched off on airplane mode most of the time. And I'm only gonna take it out when I actually need it for a specific purpose. And apart from that, I'm gonna keep it locked away. I've been really thinking about, you know, what's gonna be different this time? You know, what's like with, with what I'm doing right now, you know, I've been in these positions before where I've had all these grand ideas and grand plans of things I want to do, things I want to accomplish, but there's always been distractions and addictions keeping me down, pulling me back to my old behaviors, preventing me from truly, you know, committing, truly going all in. In order to really get to that stage, get rid of all the things in my life that are holding me back, all the distractions, all the addictions. At the beginning of this year, I swore to myself that 2023 was going to be the year where I break, three, break free from all my remaining addictions. So far, with the exception of internet and technology addiction, most of which is spent on things such as YouTube or just mindlessly 
scrolling and browsing the internet. That's what most of my time is occupied from. I haven't had issues with social media for quite a few years. You know, I've deleted the vast majority of my social media. The only thing I really have left is a personal Facebook account, which I log on to maybe like, I don't know, once a week. But overall, man, it's social media is not really an issue for me anymore. I don't, I don't really consider YouTube to be social media, but YouTube is still something that has always been very distracting for me. And also along with that, just mindlessly browsing. There's a lot of, um, you know, great resources and information on the internet. I'm not against the internet. I think it's a very valuable tool, but the key thing is how we choose to access it. Like, I don't want to just be a mindless consumer. And the problem I find with these devices here is the internet comes everywhere with us, wherever we go, you know, it's always in our pocket, always easy to reach. And I find myself questioning, you know, like, would we have such a big problem with, um, for example, PMO addiction, if not for these things? Well, you know, obviously you can um, access that stuff on, um, you know, on a computer as well. Of course, you know, I spend too much time on my computer as well sometimes. Still, I found that with the computer, it's much easier to moderate your use compared to these things which can come literally everywhere with you like there's no there's really no moderating it almost it's like smartphones are designed to be addictive you know like a computer like i have my study you know in another part of the house where i where i do all my online work right if i'm out somewhere else you know i'll just bring my laptop with me and just pull up on a table or something so it's like it's not something that i can just do anywhere like i can't just you know walk around or you know be going out my day or you know doing other household chores you know like vacuuming or washing dishes or things like that i can't you know like be in a computer while while i'm doing all that stuff you know but with a phone it's like i can bring it with me i can put you know like headphones in and you know a large part of my usage you know to be fair to myself a large part of my smartphone usage is uh, just listening to music and podcasts while I do work I'll have you know if earphones in and whatever and I'll just listen to stuff you know while I'm being while I'm outside you know while I'm doing my work so all my usage is while doing stuff out in the garden still it can be very distracting at times I've gotten to the point where I find that you know I want to really be a hundred percent present you know in the moment I don't want to really miss out on the experience of life I don't want 2190 hours just to be spent with my attend with most of my attention or even just parts of my attention focused on just this tiny screen this tiny device block in my hand I want to actually experience life, the world around me, and everything it has to offer. This is my new phone. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm just gonna charge this thing up. It hasn't been turned on in quite some time. I actually bought it a few years ago and I've used it a little bit, but for the most part I've got, I've sort of experimented a bit with a few different uh, dumb phones. Like the last one that I used, which yeah, I don't have it here with me, was a Nokia 800 Tough, which is like a indestructible brick. You know, it's a bit more advanced. You know, it's got 4G, it's got, you know, sort of GPS, but that doesn't really work out. I mean, I haven't gotten, I haven't been able to get it working. It also has a YouTube app on it, which I did use, but it's like, you can only, it's essentially like listening to, you know, an audio, like a podcast or an audio book, but like with YouTube videos. So I, I did use that a few times, but, you know, this thing, like, I'm not even gonna be able to do that. Just call, text, that's it. So the next month's gonna entail, like, um, you know, not listening to music, you know, putting restrictions on my YouTube usage. It's it's gonna be, it's not gonna be easy, that's for sure, that's probably, especially at the start. But I'm trying not to see it in terms of, you know, it's gonna be boring or, you know, what am I going to lose? I wanna see this in terms of, you know, what do I stand to gain? What do I stand to gain from 2,190 hours, well, that's an insane amount of time. And that's on the conservative side. Over the past month, my usage on my phone has averaged six to eight hours. So, you know, if let's say I, I did, I use my phone eight hours a day, you know, over the course of a year, that's gonna be closer to like around 3,000 hours approximately, which that's an insane amount of time. If you think about it, it's like, it's like you know, a quarter up to almost a third of the entire year down the drain you know like most people spend six to eight hours a day you know like sleeping and it's like 
spending that same amount of time on your phone. I mean, of course, not all of it is directly looking at a screen like a lot, screen, like a lot of it for me is just, you know, listening while I'm doing something else. But still, it's, that's not how I want to live my life. Apart, and the last thing I wanted to just say is, part of the reason why I'm doing this is also curiosity. You know, I'm, I'm fairly young, you know, I'm only 22. I'm part of Gen Z and yeah, you know, we were the first generation to grow up with the internet and, you know, I didn't get a smartphone until I was uh, 15, you know, not, not like, um, you know, younger, um, younger people nowadays, you know, you have kids that are like just top kids and toddlers who just get smartphones, which I just find that insane. But, you know, still I grew up with the internet unlike, you know, older people who will, um, you know, remember what life was like before then. So in a sense, it's an experiment for me to see what life is without constantly being plugged into this. And honestly, you know, personally, I really don't like um, having a mobile phone on me. I would, if I, if I could, you know, I would honestly just love to get rid of a phone altogether, you know, maybe just keep like a home phone or whatever, but then just not have any, any phone attached to me. Anyway, that's it. I'm starting to ramble, but that's the announcement. That's the video for today. I would encourage you, if you haven't done it before, you know, experiment a bit. It's of a dumb phone. Try it out. Honestly, like in my whole experience, I think that smartphone addiction like itself is like, it feeds into so many other addictions. It feeds into PMO addiction. It feeds into social media addiction. It's like, this is the mechanism, the tool that is used to keep us glued and addicted to so many things and by cutting that out you know i think it's, it's going to open up a lot of um, free time a lot of opportunities a lot of mental bandwidth that can be used to really focus and fuel creativity and become our strongest self strongest selves so that's about it i'll see you all in the next video ciao